We're now going to have a look at proof by exhaustion. That's proof by looking at an exhaustive list of all possibilities. So the question's asked us to prove by exhaustion that 53 is a prime number. So that means we're going to have a look at every possible factor of 53 to check whether it is a factor or not. Before we do that, let's take the number 16. Let's make an exhaustive list of all the factors of 16. We've got 1 times 16. 2 times 8, we're doing them in order. 3 isn't a factor. And we've got 4 times 4. And we've seen a repetition, so we know we're done. But let's look at this repetition. 4 times 4, 4 squared is 16. 4 is the square root of 16. We know that as soon as we got to the square root of 16, we could stop, because that's going to lead to a repeated factor. So let's use this fact to narrow down the number of possibilities that we have to try for, uh, for 53. So looking at 53, we know we can stop looking for factors when we've got as high as root 53 or the integer just before that. So let's look what root 53 is. It's 7.28, so we know we just have to check all the way up to 7. Then we can stop. So, 53 divided by 2. Let's do that on the calculator. Which is 26.5. Which isn't an integer. Therefore, not a factor. Okay, let's try 53 <coughs> divided by 3, which is 17.7, therefore not a factor. Let's try 53 divided by 4. Clearly it's not going to be a factor because it's 53 isn't even and 4 is. But for completeness of working, let's write them all down. Therefore, not a factor. 53 divided by 5. equals 10.6 therefore not a factor 53 divided by 6 which is 8.8 .8 approximately 53 divided by 6 is 8.83 .8 therefore not a factor And 53 divided by 7 is 7.57. That's 53 divided by 7 equals 7.57. Therefore, not a factor. Then the conclusion is an important part. Since no integer from 2 to 7 is a factor of 53 then 53 must be prime we could have made that easier by using the table function on the calculator. Table function makes exhaustive lists much easier to get. So what we're going to do is going to go to menu. And we're going to scroll down until we get to the table function, which is 9. Let's go into that. Okay, so we're going to divide 53 by a certain few numbers. We haven't decided which numbers yet. So, fraction, 53, divided by, and we need to put an x in there. So, alpha, 
then above the bracket you can see an x 53 divided by x okay press equals to enter it now this has given us the option to put in a second function but we don't want to do that we're just going to leave that blank press equals again to get the next screen okay so the table range we want to start at 1 and end at well we said we we're going to go as high as the root of 53 now this takes you up to the integer nearest to the root of 53 and the step where well, we want to go up in ones the step is what number we want to go up in and we can see there now that all the work's been done for us when x equals 1 f of x equals 53 when x equals 2 26.5 all the answers match what we calculated longhand earlier so that makes things a lot easier